Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 22nd through the 28th, or the end of March, okay? Just, you could say the end of March. Now, what do we have for Cancer for the end of March? What do we have for Cancer for the end of March? I have to get my book for this. Okay. What do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Serendipity. Serendipity. This is a fortunate accident. This is an accident that brings you fortune. Okay? This is actually good luck. I am going to read it for you. But serendipity is a fortunate accident, okay? Opportunity. Allied with readiness, the awareness of synchronicity, luck and good fortune, and <laughs> Luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols, a magical alignment of events. It's interesting. You saw how it happened in the deck when I was shuffling the deck and it flipped and it went sideways and, you know, it was a mess, but it happened for a reason. You've stepped into alignment with the greater good where your dreams in the collective dream resonate in, ex in, in exquisite harmony. Now is the time for luck and preparation to meet the, and create miracles that you could never have planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel for providence right now as a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the whole world. Your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Your good luck becomes everyone's good luck. Everything you bring into being now will leave a wondrous legacy for the others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile for spirit loves you so very much. Spirit has a plan and that plan is to, I cannot speak. Spirit has a plan and the plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey. Someone spirit wants to bring into your life. You may have already met this person. Only divine forces can plan this meeting. This meeting is going to happen very, very soon. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the sign spirit presents. You have met or you are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey. You are in the right place at the right time. Be grateful for the stars are aligned in your favor and fortune is smiling on you. Victory and success are yours. The choices you have made in the past have prepared you for the opportunities now that are before you. This is your lucky moment. The timing is perfect. So the timing is perfect for something to drop into your life or for you to drop into somebody else's. So what do we have for cancer? A fortunate accident. So something is going to happen by accident, but it's a blessing. It's meant to be. It's perfect. Ace of blades, ace of swords. I wonder, I mean, the ace of swords is truth, power. It's the raw truth. It's a new approach. It looks like, we, I'm not sure if we have some sort of surgery going on here. Obviously, there's some sort of accident. There's, so I'm wondering if there's an accident. I don't know if it involves an animal or not. Or the hospital. Somebody may end up in the hospital. If they end up in the hospital, it's happening for a reason. 
okay? I just, this is obviously some sort of hospital, okay? So I'm not sure if somebody's ending up in a hospital, they need to have something removed. Um, you're gonna survive. You may be in a situation where there is an accident or there's something, or it's desperate and you may be feeling like, you know, you're not gonna survive, you are gonna stop, you are gonna survive, whatever this is. This is like life support. I mean, I don't know what is going on here, but it feels like you're gonna be okay. There's people that are gonna help you. Too. We might as well just take those. It's almost like you're gonna you you may you may need some help, but you're gonna get the help that you need, and you're gonna you're gonna feel so much better. Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Tent, temporary situation. So something is going to happen. Something is going to happen that is probably going to change your perspective. It's going to change your life in a very big way. It's going to change the way you do things. It is going to impact your spirituality. It's going to make you more spiritual. It's going to make you more enlightened, more aware. I feel like this is a really big week. You're going to be going through a period of recovery. The devil. Some of you could be dealing with Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart. Um, this is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation, toxic behavior, perhaps a bad habit. This is taking back control, breaking free, maybe from an addiction or a codependency, something that is unhealthy for you. Somebody, we could have somebody here that has a serious addiction, you know, and maybe, I mean, hopefully they don't get in an accident. They could. But this is freedom. It is freedom, freedom from something that is toxic, unhealthy, that you have been slave to, you have been bound to. This is a deep, dark place. You're going to you're you're going to be going through a period of recovery. You absolutely are. Major ending of some so somebody needs an attitude adjustment. They have not learned their lesson. They've been repeating uh behaviors Refusing to listen to anyone. This is somebody that has re been refusing to explore new avenues, that has been stuck in the present. And an attitude adjustment has been needed. This is too much resistance because of ego, pride, lust, instant gratification, addictions. Uh, could be so many things. The devil reversed, codependency. I feel like somebody could end up in the hospital. This is resisting change, not learning from mistakes. What you resist persists. There's some sort of lack of success here. There's some unfinished business. Perhaps, you know, something, this is a deep, deep, dark place. We got somebody here that is in a deep, dark place. They have not learned their lessons. They have not. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is, is, is a wish being granted. Okay, it's happiness, it's wish fulfillment. 
but it's also arrogance and going overboard. So I think that we have somebody here that, I don't know, if we have somebody here that has a drinking problem, they drink too much, they could get in an accident, hopefully they don't hit a dog. Anyhow, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups, that is a card of wish fulfillment. It is a card of having it all, but it's also a card of arrogance. And this is arrogance as well. So I think we have somebody here that goes overboard. You know, it almost feels like we have somebody here that is partying. You know, they're, they're partying, they're happy. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's even self-medicating. And they go overboard. They could end up in the hospital. What the heck is going on here? Nine of Cups. That, that's, that is going overboard. That, that, and that could be a celebration of some sort. Being at a celebration, celebrating. But whatever is happening, this accident, because serendipity is a fortunate accident, it's going to break you free from some sort of toxic situation. You are going to be pleased as punch. You are going to be extremely happy on, that this happened. And I feel like, you know, when it's happening, you're not. When it happens, you're going to probably, I don't know, maybe a near-death experience. I don't know. It could be a near-death experience. <laughs> For you or another person. But that Nine of Cups is extremely happy to be free of whatever this addiction is. Whatever this hold is. You're going to be extremely happy that you are free. Two of Wands. Now the Two of Wands is being at a crossroads. Being held back by fear. Somebody is, is uh, needing to make a choice. They're discontent. They're restricting themselves in some way. Undecided. There could, there's definitely, I think there's some fear of change. There's two paths. You know, what is this two of wands? This is uh, suddenly leaving. It feels like sudden, sudden deciding to leave suddenly. I think you've been stuck. It's stagnant. Because this is stuck, stagnant. And this is being at that crossroads, being at that... Spa, it's just deciding to leave, deciding to go. Somebody may be deciding to go. They could be leaving without saying goodbye because this is no closure. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. Um, six of Pentacles reverse. There could be a rejection. Somebody could also get upset. You know, they could get upset and, I don't know, hopefully there's not an accident. But the Six of Pentacles reversed is... You know, an abuse of power, greed, and injustice. This isn't fair. It's unfair treatment. Um, not seeking professional advice. Not listening to any advice. Not giving back to a situation. I think we have somebody here that has been in a situation where they have. it's been very extremely unhealthy with that devil card. When you get a card in reverse, it's extremes. It is. And I feel like there's been a lot of suffering. There's been, and things have gotten worse. Somebody's addiction has gotten worse. It's gotten out of hand. And I feel like there's going to be an accident because of whatever this addiction is. This addiction, in this addiction, it's going to change your world, okay? It, it is. Your world, your whole world is about to change. And it's almost like, it feels like it's in the blink of an eye. Spur of the moment. Okay, I think your whole world is about to change in the spur of the moment. Okay, I also feel like there's some unfair treatment. Maybe you weren't treated fairly or you didn't treat somebody fairly with that Six of Pentacles reverse. I know a lot of people want to automatically point the finger at everybody but themselves. But there is unfair treatment here. We have somebody that, you know, has taken something that isn't theirs. 
you know, or they've been greedy and selfish and they maybe they were should it be giving something to somebody else and they're not because they're greedy. We have greedy a couple times. We have a very greedy individual here. I feel like we have a battle, you know, somebody has been fighting and this is losing a battle of some sort. You know, it is. This, the Six of Wands reverse is losing a battle. Okay, this is a disgrace. It's a setback. We have a one, one hit wonder here who is very prideful, very smug, very cocky. That has an overinflated ego. This person, I feel like they're going to be... It feels like they're losing their power. They're losing control or something like that. This is somebody who has lost respect from others, is losing support from others. Nobody has respect for this person anymore. So I don't know who this person is, but I feel like we have somebody here that's going backwards. They're going backwards with these sixes, okay? We have a six reverse here, a six reverse here, and if you, if you add this five plus one, it equals six. So six, 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 six in the upright is going towards balance and harmony. I feel like we have somebody here that has been going in the wrong direction. It's like either choosing heaven or hell. This person has been, you know, going in the wrong direction. But I do feel like there's a higher power involved. I do. I feel like there's a higher power involved that is going to steer you in a new direction. And perhaps they have to do it in a way that is drastic. I do think it's going to be drastic. Okay? I think it's going to cut. I think it's going to hurt. Okay? That doesn't look like it's going to be an easy situation. I think that you, you somebody may need hospitalization. Okay, they may need rehab, they may need an operation, they may need surgery. I think that there's going to be some sort of accident, whatever it is, whether it's an accidental overdose or an accidental accident or an accidental something. You know, we have somebody here that uh, really doesn't learn, hasn't learned from their mistakes, and I feel like they're out of control, and I feel like, I feel like there's going to be something that happens that changes everything. Okay? And land somebody in the hospital. And I feel like the Ace of Swords is a wake-up call. Okay, it is. It's a, If you were to look up the card, it is a wake-up call. So, in this card, this reading is for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Somebody is about to get a wake-up call. And I don't think it's the person that you're pointing the finger at. I think it's you. I think that you have to make a better choice. But you have been flogging a dead horse, dealing with a codependent situation. And I feel like it's time to break free from this situation that is toxic and unhealthy. And if you think about that, um, all is not as it seems. What, what is 18? 18 equals is the moon, okay? It's in the tarot. It's the moon. Somebody has been living in illusion. I do feel like there is an unclear and difficult path ahead. Somebody, there, you know, there could be something in the road, okay? I just, I keep thinking that there's going to be something in the road. Be careful when you're on the road. Um, this is a loss. This is losing a battle, losing something. And this one is too. I feel some of you may lose your job. Um, you could lose something. This, I'm not sure what it is. Whatever this is, it's losing something. This is a loss. This is a loss of well as well. Now somebody in your life could be leaving without saying goodbye. Okay, or you're leaving without saying goodbye. It, this is it's time to expand. It's time to uh, make another choice. You are going to be presented with another path. 
something is going to happen that really wakes you up. Spiritual development, enlightenment, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. This is a wake-up call. You are about to get a major wake-up call in the form of some sort of accident. And I don't know what kind of accident it is. But it's something that happens by accident. And it changes your whole perspective on life. This is going to bring you wish fulfillment in the end. But you have been unable to break free of this toxic situation that is unhealthy and not good for you. So, the world card is a, is a universe card. The universe is saying no positive change will come. You are stuck in the present It's time for this chapter to end and for you to step into new territory. So we're going to push you. You're going to be pushed into new territory. Oh, there's another six. This is, this is clinging to the past. Clinging to memories. Packing up, leaving home. Now we got the, another, another six. They're all reversed, going in the wrong direction. Living in hell on earth. It's funny because I heard an old song long recently that I haven't heard in years. And it's by, I don't even know who it's by. Heaven is a place on earth. I don't know. I want to think. I want to say the Go Go's, uh, Belinda Carlisle. That's who it is. Um, heaven is a place on earth. So anyway, I feel I feel like you guys need a wake up call, and you could get one lit right under your ass. Good luck. <laughs>